Alright, let's see how long we can last without AC. Oh, yeah. Can't see myself in the camera. That bothers me. Alrighty. Used to be able to get into this park for free, now it costs $50. Fuck is that all about? Jesus Christ, there we go. Hey handsome. Oh my god. I tell you what, I had a great childhood. Make no bones about it. Everything was violence. You know, on Saturday we used to watch wrestling. And on Sunday it was Sunday morning Kung Fu Theater. Channel 11. Let me tell you something. I don't think there's anything better than a Kung Fu movie. I put a Kung Fu movie up against any movie you got. I can my, One of my favorites of all time was was the master of the flying guillotine. If you guys are new to Kung Fu, like you never really watched it or whatnot, watch the master of the flying guillotine. This is like the greatest movie ever made. It starts out, this old master, like, I, I think it starts out that this guy gets killed. And it turns out that the guy that's killed has a master, and he's an old man, and he basically taught him all this karate. So naturally, you know, this guy, the master, lives in the mountains, like all the way up at the top of a mountain in this house, and he lives, I guess, a peaceful lifestyle other than the fact that he likes to throw his guillotine. I, you guys know anything about the flying guillotine? The, the, the flying guillotine is a weapon where you throw it and it lands on somebody's head and then you pull a chain and it just cuts their goddamn head off. And so this guy was a master of the flying guillotine. <laughs> the flying guillotine is an actual weapon. It was used during some dynasty in China or something like that. It's an actual weapon. There's a history to it. <laughs> Imagine getting, getting your head cut off by the flying guillotine. <laughs> How gruesome. So... The guy lives up in the mountains, and I guess it, his, he practices his flying... He doesn't practice. Like, he goes outside to get a chicken or something like that, and he throws the guillotine and <laughs> cuts the chicken's head off, man. Oh, God. So the movie starts out like that, and then they send, like, a carrier pigeon up to him, and he reads, like, a little scroll off his foot or whatnot. He might have even cut the pigeon's head off and then took the note off his foot. And it says that his, you know, his student was killed by the one-armed boxer. So now, naturally, that means that he's got to avenge his student, you know? So the guy, as so, almost as soon as he reads it, he wraps up like a small bag of things, throws it over his shoulders, he walks outside of the house and he throws something and boom, torches his whole house. I mean, talk about, talk about no going back. I mean, imagine the mentality on a guy. He's got to avenge somebody, so he just, he just turns around and he, he torches his house. It's like, that's it. I got to go get this guy. I, I have nowhere to go. It's not like you can say, all right, well, I tried. I'll go back home now. It's not even an option anymore. So he goes into town and, oh, by the way... By the way, the guy that, the master that's throwing this guillotine, he's blind. So he goes into town, and now you can tell, you know, he hasn't been around people much or whatnot. He he's, doesn't have the best manners in the world. And he goes into a restaurant, and I forget what he, maybe he orders some soup or something like that. It's not important. And he's eating the soup. And he overhears somebody down on the lower level. Of the, it's like a, a restaurant with like, it had to like this weird, like almost like opening in the middle. And then 
this table's around the top, but it's open on the second floor. That's not even important. I don't know why I'm telling you that. But he overhears a guy uh, is sitting in like, ah, you know, I can kick that guy's ass. He's talking to the waiter. He's like, I can kick that, that guy's ass with one arm. And <laughs> the, the, the master of the guillotine hears that. He only hears is like one arm. And all of a sudden he just launches his guillotine down and goes, whoosh. And cuts the guy's head off. And then the shopkeeper comes running up. He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's like, I'm here to kill the one-armed boxer. And he's like, that's not the one-armed boxer. That was just like a guy talking about it. Or he might have even been handicapped or something. Ah. And the guy goes, and the master says, well, I don't care. I'll kill every one-armed man I meet. It reminds me of... When I went to the hardware store once, and this old guy was looking for some some part or something like that, or, or, or some screws, and he came around the aisle, and he slipped and fell, and as he fell, he hit his head on the counter. Not hard, but, you know, just hard enough, and he got up, and he starts punching the wall in anger, like that. I guess he was upset that he fell, I guess he was embarrassed that people saw him fall, and he started punching the wall, and then he walked away. And it was almost like that, where he cut the guy's head off, and he didn't have any remorse for just killing an innocent man. And it was almost like, he couldn't say I'm sorry, he, he was just like, like I don't care, and I'll, and I'll kill every man with one arm that I meet, and this guy was the best. So eventually he winds up going to this... Like, this, throughout the movie, he winds up cutting off a bunch of people. Anybody that gets in his way, he winds up cutting off their head. Until his final goal, he finds out the one on box is fighting in this enormous, like, uh, karate tournament. Almost like the Kumita. The Kumita before the Kumita. And uh, he fights all these crazy guys, these yoga guys with these long, these long arms and whatnot. I mean, just watch, watch Master of the Guillotine. Master of the Flying Guillotine, you can't go wrong. And it's just like, it was just like the lines in in Kung Fu movies. I mean, the Kung Fu movies had lines that it was like comedy beyond what comedy was ever meant to be. I remember there was this one movie, I wish I could remember the name of it, but it was this guy, he was just like real, uh, how would you say, uh, ornery, and, and he would just go around picking fights with everybody, and he would go from school to school and just go in there and say, I want to fight your best student, or I want to, you know, I, I, I want to, he went into this one karate school, he kicked everybody's ass, and then they had this, like, moniker, I guess, hanging on the wall, or that was like their, almost like their coat of arms, and he did, like, this flying jump kick and just cut, kicked it in half, to add insult to injury and then walked out and just basically told them that their kung fu was worthless. So he goes into another kar uh, karate school and he confronts the sensei. And the sensei's like, where are you from? And naturally they all have like the, the western, uh, you know, voiceovers. And he goes, I'm from a faraway place, all the way from hell. That's Kung Fu Movies, baby.
day? Yeah. There's a bike rack right there. We had one already. Any other video games at all? Oh, okay. Wait, what did you have? Uh, I had some like some GameCube and some uh some games like those. Yeah. How much are you asking for it? <laughs> yeah, who doesn't? Do 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 Got any uh, video games at all? What? Video games at all? I think he does. I just saw a bunch of games over here. Um, <laughs> you don't have the uh, the games for the uh, the DS? Yeah, you know, <laughs> I do. Yeah. Upstairs, but I gotta get them out. It's been so busy. Ah, oh, that's that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Well, let me. Um, here. See, here's one. Oh yeah, you got more of those? No, I think Ronnie, you better take this stuff out of here. This is all sold, right? Yeah, it's all sold. It's all sold. Mm -hmm. It's all sold. Huh? Well, I'll That's look in there. Sold. What are, okay. like, yeah, 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 yeah. I noticed that you had the, the guide for these games, and I was wondering if you had these games. I, I do. Okay. I just gotta get my son up. Okay. 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 How much are you asking for this uh, for these guys? Two dollars each. Two bucks each. And how much for this? Five dollars. Five bucks. Is that too much? Two bucks. Two bucks. Two, two, two. If it works. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two bucks. I'm annoyed because we traded in for the new 3D one. Yeah. And we couldn't find it. But uh. I don't think we could have traded it in anyway. <laughs> That's you regular have DS. This is 3DS that won't work on D regular DS. Okay. So, this is 3DS Mario Kart. He just right. told me, don't let him buy it if he only has DS. Right. What? Uh, well, uh, yeah, that's, uh, how much for these? He said 5 and 10. 5 and 10. 5 and 10? I guess this is newer. Yeah. And he doesn't have any other games? See? Pokemon or? Yeah, Pokemon. He says he does, but he has to get up and look. Oh, man. <laughs> My son is crazy for Pokemon, so oh, yeah? I... Yeah, he's got the guides here. I want to get the the guides. I know he probably has the games to match the guides. You know? I bet he does. He's Damn. kind of getting that rolling out now. Where do you live? Uh, I'm over in Massapequa. Oh. Yeah. All right, let me see if we've got any more. Uh, for all of them? Yeah, I, would, I would really appreciate it, because okay. if they they go with the guides, it's perfect, you know? Two dollars, I said. The price. No, 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 that's good, that's oh, good. Oh, no, 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 the price is fine. Oh, okay. Right. What? Any more of those Pokemon games? He's just rolling out of bed. You know where they are? I, uh, no, I this don't. Is mine. There was just the Star Wars one, but she didn't want that, right? Yeah, that one, no, uh, that one I'll pass okay. on. Okay. Yeah, this is the guy with Oh, yeah, I was looking for him because you got the, the strategy yeah. guide there. I was like, oh, and he had the games to go with it. That's yeah. all right. I know. That's he all right. two cases with, this, with them in it, but I don't know. When I said they might have been yeah. sold. You know yeah. what? We'll look again tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you leave your number? All we'll right. We'll give you a call if we find them. All right, that's fine. We'll look what again tonight. What would you do tonight? in the back? Now, you said what? Two, four, six, four, eight, yeah. ten. Fine, ten. And he wanted uh, ten for that, five for that. Ten for this? All right. So that's uh, uh, what it was to work out to. Jeez, let's do it again. 
two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten. Twenty. Twenty-five. Five. Thank you very much. You want me to leave my number just in case? Yeah, in case we have. I just want to see which There's one a few is. There's drawers I have to look for. Okay. Yeah, they, and they, they match the books. Yeah, that's what I mean. They match the books. So it's like it's like perfect. All right. I know. I know we have. Okay. Okay. But I know we do. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Got any video games at all? Any old Nintendo, Sega stuff, anything? The only thing is that thing right there. This is my, my wife's uh, Sega handheld. That's it. We had we have a bunch of stuff actually, but it was my son. We were gonna we thought we were gonna sell it, but we talked to my son. He's about your age, and he's like, please don't sell any of it. I'm sure for the same reason you're looking for it. Yeah. <laughs> Nostalgia. <laughs> How much are you asking for it? Maureen. Does it work? Yes, it works. I don't have we I don't know if we have the power cable though. Oh, it's missing there. the power cable? We probably have it. Let me go take a look. All right. Yeah, check with mom, Kay, and ask her how much. Here. I'll tell you what, if I was you I would jump on that for ten dollars. With, with the cord, yeah. Kaylee? Yeah, it's, it's a, a regular uh D C nine. Oh, uh, it doesn't have the cord, huh? Yeah, I mean, she said it runs on batteries though. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Six o'clock. Okay. Yep. Yeah. You got change? Uh, yeah. Ten dollars really for that, Kaylee? Yeah. Look on eBay right now. Dad. <laughs> I'm serious. I was looking last night. Not really. Hold it. She opened her mouth. Ten dollars for that cigarette here? Are you nuts? I told you. Fifty dollars. Do you know what it's going for right now? It's on Amazon for a buck fifty. No, I, I, I think that's $150. There's one on Amazon for $1,499. There's, one, there's another one on the internet for like $9,000. I don't know what it is about those things, but they're worth a lot of money. $10. I can't believe you see that. So now? I want it for $10. Sorry, guys. I had a world-class hangover this morning. I was up all night drinking Johnny Walker. I have a certain family member that comes over and his thing is Johnny Walker, so... Talk about some stuff that'll put hair on your man boobs. But anyway, let's get right into it. I mean, we had, we had the show of shows last week and I, to be honest with you, I don't know how you follow that act. But, uh, yeah, we went out this morning, and let's get right to it. Um, the very first garage sale, uh, nothing outrageous, just uh, stumbled upon this, this Nintendo DS game. And there was two things that I found interesting about this game. It's called, it's called Trauma Center Under the Knife. And number one, it's an Atlas game. And uh, Atlas makes some of my favorite games of all time. So if it says Atlas, I'm in. And the other thing is, it has like these seedy looking doctors on the front. Looks like some type of game about surgery. And I can remember going into Electronics Boutique and seeing uh, computer games back in the early late 80s, early 90s, and seeing computer games, late 80s. Yeah, maybe. Early night, seeing computer games about performing surgery, and I would always wanted to do that type of thing. And uh... <sighs> I gotta get some water. I'll be right back. I'm dying. So the next garage sale that we went to, and now this this was a real heartbreaker. Walk in there, I see a DS on the table. And I start doing, which is, you know, it's not, no great shakes. Okay, it's a DS. And my eyes panning around, and we look inside this basket, and we see these Pokemon uh, strategy guides. 
Pokemon Hot, uh, Heart of Gold, Soul Silver, and uh, uh, what's this? The Pokemon uh, Post Story Guide and Diamond and Pearl version. I get a better shot of this here. So where there's smoke, there's fire. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, they got the DS here. They got the strategy guides here. Where are the actual uh, games? So I say to the lady, I say, hey, you know, you got the you got any games for this or whatnot? So she goes, yeah, she sends a, her, uh, she has a husband in the house to go wake up her son because her son knows where the games are. Guy comes out, he's like, no, I don't, don't know where the games are or whatnot. I said, listen, I, I brew up this story about how I have a son that loves Pokemon. I said, you got the strategy guides here. I really don't have a use for the strategy guides if they, unless they come with the corresponding game. Guy says, okay, go to the back of the house. And he comes out with this. He comes out with Mario Kart 3DS. And Pokemon Emerald version. So he goes, so he says, yeah, he goes, uh, I found this in his drawer or something like that because his, his mother said something about it being in a drawer. He goes, I found this in his drawer. He knows where the other games are. So I'm like, oh my God, he knows where the other games are. So I really, I, I, I don't think I've ever pushed this hard at a garage sale. I sat there, I said, is there any way you can check and see and whatnot? You got to understand the amount of time that elapsed while I was there. An entire, I was listening to, uh, what was I listening to? My iPod was going in the, in the truck. I swear to God, 10 songs went by. And some of them were very long songs. So imagine how long, imagine. I was waiting there a long time. I finally, I coaxed him to go back in there again. And finally the sun came out and he said, ah, he, he couldn't find anything anywhere. And then as he's walking back into the garage, he goes, oh, look at this. And he finds a Pokemon Black case and Naturally, the game's not inside. So I did what I could do, and I left my number, and hopefully the guy will call back. I mean, you know, chances are 99% of the time nobody calls back, but I mean, it, it was worth a try. I pushed as hard as I could push. They were starting to get fed up with me. So the other dynamic to this garage sale is, okay, the woman was giving stuff away. When the guy came out of the house, he told me $10 for Mario Kart and $5 for the Pokemon. She told me $2 for each strategy guide. She told me $5 for this, and then she talked herself down to $2. And then she told me $2 for the PSP. So when the guy came out with this, he hands it to me. And then I sat there and I waited till he kind of disappeared. And then I went back, <laughs> it's kind of a scummy move. I went back over to her and I was like, okay, so how much for everything? So she goes, ah, she goes, two, four, six, eight, ten. And then she goes, and what did he say for these? And so I felt like I had to be honest. So I said, I said, ten and five. So I, what was it? Two, four, six, eight, ten, and then ten and five. It would have came out to $25, right? So here we go, Bidhead 1000 strategy, right? I pull out, I had 25 in my wallet, but I pull out 40 because I know how she is. She doesn't want to deal with it. I handed her 40. I said, do you have change? She goes, take it for 20. I don't know if you can hear it on the video. Take it for 20. So there you go. That crap for $20. And let's see if the DS, the DS is on. How, how could that be? Uh, you can see it. It, it. The light, it's the light's not that bright. I don't know if there's an adjustment for that. Oh jeez, maybe the backlight is dead. Or maybe this is an old. I don't know. What I know about the DS, you can, you could fit in a thimble, but it's on. Can you see? No, of course not. Yeah, of course not. All you can see is my drunken shiny skin. All right. Moving along to the next garage sale. All right, 
I'm gonna blow my top. I tell you right now, it's only stay tuned. It's only a matter of time before I blow my top. And number one, because I'm out of coffee. And number two, forgive my my brilliant camera work on that last segment. I had a Sega Game Gear in my hand. Of course, nobody could see because I didn't film it. And now, stay tuned because I promise you, one day I'm gonna blow my top and I'm gonna unload on something. And I'll tell you why. Uh, this guy, I was talking tools with this guy before, and he, I asked him how much he wanted this for, for this tool. Oh, I should, you, you, we could check Amazon, we could check eBay right now. This is probably a hundred dollar tool at least. We can put it up, you know, if you want, we can look on uh, Amazon or something, see what the, what the going rate is. And then I asked him how much he wanted for this Craig coffee mug. This like vintage Craig coffee mug. Well, on eBay, they're going for this right here. And then to top it all off, I'm de making deals with his wife now. His wife, his wife said she, she wanted $10 for the Game Gear. Oh, hon, what, are you kidding me? She, he goes, go check game, uh, eBay right now. Go check. No, it's really saying, no, cocksucker. You didn't take pictures of this thing. You didn't take the time to list it. You didn't pay listing fees. You didn't pay final sale fees. You didn't pay PayPal fees. You didn't wrap it up, box it up, pack it up. And you sure as hell didn't stand online at the post office. No, prick, scumbag, filthy animal. I drove to your house. I used my gas money. I don't get eBay prices. So luckily, his wife had a brain in her head. And she sold us the Game Gear for $10. Very reasonable. It's a game gear and it has Sonic 2. Does it work? I don't know. I don't have the power cord. But I'll tell you what I do have. I have six AA batteries. So let's put them in and see how it works. We'll be right back. So there we go. The batteries are installed. Let's check it out. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Oh, it is working. Hold on. What does that mean? Hang on a second here. There we go. The thing doesn't even work. I got lines across the screen. Well, that's terrific. That's a winner right there. So, anyway, we're not going to let that get us down, are we? No, of course not. What do we got here? Okay. So today's tally is a dollar for the DS game, ten bucks for the broken game gear, uh, I don't know what this really comes out to. Maybe two bucks for the for the Pokemon. Maybe three, four, I don't know, three, four dollars for the Pokemon green. We got all our Game Boy games up here, by the way. Oh, I, I put all the Nintendo games across the top now. There's no Nintendo games down here, so it's it's not in the best order. You know, uh, ultimately, I'd like to have everything in alphabetical order, but that's just not the case right now. Uh, we got Mario Kart 7 for the DS that we'll, that we'll keep right here. And then, uh, and then the rest of the stuff that it really doesn't have a place in the game shelf. Oh, I didn't show you guys the PSP. Yeah. There's the PSP. It was in the box with all the wires. It looks to be in, in nice shape. I haven't, I haven't turned it on. I don't think I can. I don't even know, I don't even know how to turn on a PSP. How does that sound? A real video game expert I am, huh? So anyway, 
I'm Bithead1000. You just tuned in to the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization. I'll see you guys next time. All right, I'm sure everybody's had enough of me already, but I did want to come back. I was editing my video and I was like, oh shit, I forgot. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to a YouTuber named Xenon. Uh, I'll bet everything in the world I'm saying this wrong. Xenon Zynide, who uh, I'll leave the link below. And uh, he made a, a mashup video of all, you know, the show's clips from, you know, our show, he made a, a, a mashup video that was like, it was like wildly entertaining. I saw it at 1.30 in the morning and I wound up, I, I, I show, I, my wife was half asleep, I woke her up to show her, then I went and I showed the kids because the kids were in, the, in their rooms doing whatever kids do, whacking off and, and on the computer and whatnot. So, uh, it was real flattering and just, you know, I know just by watching it that it took him a ton of time to put together. I mean, to pull different clips from, he, you could tell he's a, a fan of the show, and uh, he pulled some great clips. He, he, he brought back some, it's funny, we've only been doing the show a few years, but it brought back so many memories. We've been to so many different places, and, and seeing my old apartment, and seeing old places I used to go to bust up video games and whatnot was really, it really felt good to see that stuff. So, uh, I just wanted to say thank you so much for taking your time to do that. And, uh, it was, uh, it was a great video. So, so everybody go check it out. It's a lot, a lot of fun. I, I'm sure you, if you like the show, you'll get a kick out of it. So, thanks again. Take care.